The new Rivera is out and it's supposed to be more improved, more efficient, overall just more better than the previous version of the Rivera. Now this Rivera is also more expensive than the original Rivera. So the question then becomes, is it even worth it? Watch this video all the way to the end to see exactly how the new Rivera performs on my fine natural hair and to get my final thoughts on my first impressions after using this new device. Let's go. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're an OG curl friend returning back for more, welcome back to Fine Natural Hair Rocks, where your search for solid natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle advice stops. Welcome to my bathroom, curl friend. We are gonna go ahead and try out this amazing device for the very first time. Of course, this is the new Rivera 2.0. This is the wand. The wand actually is a lot sleeker in design than the last one, which I truly appreciate. I now have the tubing, which I noticed was a little bit shorter as well. And here's the main device. So it's got a lip on it. Here's the filter, which my hair is going to go into to avoid it kind of moving around the entire device itself. And you've got to actually Actually take the wand and apply it to the tubing in a very precise way just where I'm pointing right there um, so that the two of them can connect and that's going to really lock it in place so that you can go ahead and use your Rivera. Next we're gonna go ahead and attach the entire piece to the device itself and we're good to go. I've already parted my hair in four sections. I'm fully washed, deep conditioned. I also have leave-in conditioner in there as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna take off my ring so that we can proceed with the chi silk infusion to really just add heat protectant to my strands. Now the Rivera is still using heat. You've still got to protect your strands and that is exactly what I'm gonna do right now just to make sure that my curls are fully protected during this entire process. Now, similar to uh, the first Rivera, I like to part my hair in sections. As you can see, I do have a little bit of dry scalp going on. That's something that I'm dealing with at the moment. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use my wide tooth comb to just kind of detangle a little bit more before I pop my hair into that Rivera contraption. Now we are going to be using the highest heat setting, which really isn't that hot at all. First thing I noticed was that my scalp itself didn't feel like it was totally hot it felt like it was really comfortable and I really appreciated that because that means that the heat setting isn't super duper high I also really appreciated the fact that there's a lot less tubing to the device which means that it's a lot easier to handle manipulate it's not as heavy which is really fantastic as it relates to um, just comparing to the other Rivera that was out there before So to reveal the first section, it took me about, I want to say between 60 seconds to maybe 75 seconds for each section. Um, I actually went ahead and kind of did another brief detangle. The Rivera is very effective at blowing out your strands. It doesn't break the strands, which is great, but if you do have tangles in there, it will straighten out the tangle and you will have to go in again with either your fingers or a comb to really get rid of those tangles. So here we are with another section of hair. I'm going to do the same thing. I like to make sure that I'm using small sections because the smaller the section is the more effective the Rivera is going to be um, on your strands. If you have too much hair in the Rivera, it actually doesn't uh, penetrate the strands as well. It doesn't straighten the strands as well or blow it out as well. And so that's the reason why I'm kind of using as small strands as possible. And by strands, I mean sections. <laughs> so I like to kind of go ahead and do it in sections and then combine those two sections just because I, I like a uniform look that your hair will start to revert. Right now in Toronto, it's pretty hot. And so it's really important to just kind of do another pass. If I was using a regular blow dryer, I'd be really hesitant and resistant even to do multiple passes on my fine strands, but because the Revere really isn't damaging at all, um, especially in comparison to a regular blow dryer, I feel 100% at ease using heat on the section more than once.
Carlfriend, what are you currently using on your fine strands? Like, what are you using to blow out your hair? Do you have a Revere? Do you have the old Revere? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what your current regimen is looking like because we're all in this together. Using this device, another thing that I noticed is that it's really a lot quieter than the other Revere in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what this sounds like right now. So while I wouldn't say you can have a conversation with the Rivera going on, I will say that it seems to be a lot quieter than its predecessor, which is really awesome in the sense of like not waking up your entire household just because you're straightening your hair. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you are interested in getting a Revere of your own, you can absolutely do so and save some coin. I actually have a 10% discount code that is available for our girlfriend crew. It is FNH Rocks, and you can absolutely find that information as well as the link in the description box down below. So one thing that I kept on noticing is that it's really light. My arm did not get tired. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever been doing your hair and your arm gets tired and you're just like, why me? <laughs> in this particular scenario with this particular uh, straightening session, I didn't feel like my arm was getting tired. The only thing that was really bothering me about this particular application was like my itchy scalp situation, um, or not itchy, but like flaky. The Revere has a way of pulling the flakes off the skin in a very um, non-damaging way. Are you looking for even more solid natural hair content as it relates to your fine natural hair? If that sounds like you, then definitely go ahead and sign up for my newsletter right here where I will be sending you direct advice, tips and tricks about how to deal with your fine natural hair in a way that will allow you to grow and maintain the most healthiest head of hair possible. Go ahead and sign up right now. I'm actually really loving the results. I'm pleased with the fact that I'm getting a good blowout and I'm just gonna go ahead and twist that section on up to prevent my hair from reverting back to its more curlier, kinky coily state. Now for the top section. I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to do the whole section um, in one go, but no need to do so. I think using the smaller section is definitely key. Shout outs to the curl poppage in this video. My curls have really been enjoying my Olaplex treatment sessions lately. Uh, if you wanna know what I've been using for uh, my July favorites in terms of products during the summertime, then definitely go ahead and check out the last video, which um, really talks about what you can use to get your curl poppage going, get your hair feeling stronger. Um, all of the things that I'm enjoying during this session really. Girlfriend, I've literally been using this heat protectant for years. I can't even tell you how long it's been because it's been that long. But what do you currently use for heat protectants on your strands? I would love to know. I'm always on the hunt for something new, better, just trying things out. So definitely let me know that in the comment section down below as well. What I'm noticing at this point is that the smaller the section is the more smoother the blowout. 
Now, bear in mind, I do have type four fine natural hair. My curls range from some 4A ones in the back, I would say to 4B and 4C in various different sections of my hair. So I really do have the entire gamut of different curls on my strands within the type 4 family which is the reason why I just identify my curls as type 4 period um, but you know I really do appreciate the fact that using this Revere I'm getting a pretty uniform blowout in the sense that my strands are really looking pretty much the same and shout outs to that thickness like the thickness is on 10 and I'm totally here for it if you're interested in seeing exactly how to thicken up your strands, then definitely go ahead and check out this video as well to see exactly what I did to get my strands from really thin, weak, and fragile to thicker, fuller, and stronger. So we're just going to go ahead and do that section last, attach it to the rest, and then kind of comb it out to see what we're working with. I recently got a trim, so that's the reason why I'm slightly longer than I was before, but um, we're still retaining length, which is great. Now, definitely be careful with how often you use the Revere. It's still heat, so you don't want to be using this every single week. If you want to know my story about what went on with my hair after I used the Revere every single week, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. So time for the results. I'm super happy with my results. I like how it looks even before I finish that last section on up. I did decide to finish the section on up off camera just so that, you know, you kind of get the drift of what's going on as it relates to how to revere your hair. But overall, in terms of these final results, I'm really happy with it. My hair looks full. My strands are pretty much blown out, but they're not too straight, which is helping me avoid like that scalpy flat hair look. And yeah, as it relates to the flakes, I like that the Revere kind of pulled some of those flakes off of my strands as well um, without damaging my hair. So this is definitely a technique that I'm excited to try again. And of course, it's going to be a part of my regimen from here on out. So now you know exactly how to use the new Revere 2.0. But is it actually better than the older Revere? Now, I have some thoughts here and there that I've already shared with you in this video, but if you want a direct comparison with the older Revere versus the new Revere, then definitely stay tuned to next Monday's video where I'm gonna be breaking down exactly which one I think is better, and I'm gonna be breaking down whether or not I think it's worth your precious coin. In the meantime, Go ahead and like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and watch this video next to see exactly how the original Revere was performing on my fine natural hair. Thank you so much for watching, girlfriend. I will see you in the next video. Bye!